السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله الذي جعل الشمس والقمر حسبانا والنجم والشجر يسجدان فضل زمانا على زمان كما فضل مكانا على مكان وإنسانا على إنسان الحمد لله رب العالمين ولا قبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وبارك وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد رب اشفح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي رب يسر ولا تعسر وتمم بالخير وبك نستعين صلى الله عليه وسلم 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 اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب ومن شر النفاثات في العقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس صدق الله العظيم Welcome to Quran and Arabic Academy I'll be Quran and Easy Lesson number 14 In the previous lesson we have looked at uh, some of the nouns they are called غير منصرف غير المنصرف but before that let's go through our Arab as we've learned in the beginning that every noun in Arabic it has three grammatical case number one is حالة الرفع number two حالة النسب number three حالة الجر most of the words their Arab will be with Haraka in Halatu Rafa Dhamma Halatu Nasb Fatha Halatu Jar with Kasra the Muthanna isms their Arab will be with letters in Halatu Rafa Alif and Noon Ani sound in Halatu Nasb and Jar Ya and Noon any sound in for Jama Muzakkar Salim the Arab began with letters in Halut Rafa Waw and Noon Una sound and in Halut Nasab and Jar Ya and Noon Ina sound there are some nouns in Halat al Nasb and Halat al Jar, they are same and they do not accept Tanwin. So they are called Ghayrul Munsarif. They are called Ghayrul Munsarif. In the previous lesson, we've learned the Ghayrul Munsarif. We had some categories, about eight categories, and if any ism comes 
from these categories they will be uh, used as غير منصرف so in حالته رفع only with one ضمة حالته النسب only with one فتحة and حالته الجر only with one فتحة because in حالته الجر these isms will not have كسرة and then we looked at the rules of غير المنصرف what are the conditions? What are the rules? So we have looked at um, the five rules. Number one, it has to be al ismul alam, and if any ism is ismul alam, the proper noun ismul alam, then has to be another condition with it. So we have listed some condition with al ismul alam. For example, if there is a ta tanis, either it is lafzi or manawi. Lafzi means apparent. You can see the ta marbuta, ta tanis. Or manawi, which is hidden, which is understood. The physically, there is no ta marbuta, but it is. Understood, like Zainabu, the female names. Another one condition, if um, Alif and Noon, if any Ismul Alam has Alif and Noon, that's another condition. That will just be a uh, rare monster. Another condition, it has to be Ujma, has to be Ujma, non Arabic names. Number two is Sifat. Sifat, and again, it has to um, have some other conditions with it. So we have listed some conditions that comes with the Sifat. Number one, it has to be, for example, on the scale of Af'alu, and the Mu'annas of that is um, Fa'ala, Fu'ala, sorry. أفعلوا ثم نصل به فعلا. For example, أكبروا and the monas is كبرا. Another condition we have that the the colors both مذكر and monas they are also غير المنصرف. Another one we had if if the uh, any ism, number three, any ism that comes on the scale of fa'alilu or fa'alilu. Yeah. Uh, this is known as jama muntahal jumu. Jama, this is scale, fa'alilu and fa'alilu is called jama muntahal jumu. In the lesson, I did not put this. I didn't want to make confusion there. Just look at this scale. Fa'alilu or fa'alilu. And there are some examples. Masajidu, makatibu, mafatihu, all this. And number four, any ism, it, is, it has alif, maqsura. Alif Maksura, any ism, those are also Ghair Munsarif. And number five, Alif Mamduda. Alif Mamduda. Now we see there's so many isms that has Alif Mamduda, but still those are used as Munsarif. So we have to put some conditions with Alif Mamduda. So the rule we had uh, looked at in the previous lesson, uh, one of the students has um, corrected and explained some of the things. So I did change the number five. Okay, so, let, so let's go through number five first and see what I've changed.
Uh, rule number five to find out or to know Islam is Ghayrul uh, Munsarif. There is a Alif Mamdud due to femininity and comes after three letters. Comes after three letters. So if the word has um, Alif Mamdud and it is feminine, and this Alif Mamduda comes after three letters. So Swad, Ha, Ra, three letters, and Alif and Hamza, Alif Mamduda is coming after that, and it is feminine. So Sahra'u. Next, Hamra'u. It is feminine, and Alif Mamduda is coming after three letters. One, two, three. Or plurality. Yeah, plural, and comes after four letters or more. Four letters or more. Example, Agniyau. So here the alif one, ayin two, noon three, and ya four. So this alif mamdud is coming after four letters because of plural. Kibriya, we can see over here, uh, is coming after four letters. So if it's feminine, it has to come after three letters. And if it's not feminine, and it's coming after four letters, it is Ghermun Sarif. Hunafa, Asdiqa, all these are coming after four letters because of plural. Ambiya, Okay. If this Alif Mamduda comes after two letters, the word will be Munsarif. Regardless, it is feminine. Okay. If Alif Mamduda comes after two letters, regardless, is feminine or not, still it will be Munsarif. For example, Ata'un. So, Ayn Ta, two letters. And Alif Mamdud is coming after two letters. Ma'un. Uh, Mim and Alif. Ma'un. Okay, it's coming after one letter. Dawa'un. After two letters. Sama'un. It is feminine. It's coming after two letters. Or three letters and not due to femininity. It's not feminine. Even it is plural, but it's coming after three letters. If it comes after four letters, then it will be غير منصرف. But if it's coming after three letters, so there is uh, two alifs there, and ba, Three letters, and this word is not a feminine word. Aba'un. Next, Ima'un. Alif one, ya two, mean three. This coming after three letters, if it is a feminine, coming after three letters and is feminine, then it's Garmun Sarif. But if coming after three letters and it's not feminine, it will be Mun Sarif. Ima'un, it's not. Feminine, even though it's coming after three letters, is monosolif. So this is a little change I've made. So all the words, the examples we've given, is correct. Again, let me know if this is okay. Because many of you, mashallah, are more. Is plural but only three letters. And not feminine, yes. Plural, three letters, not feminine. <clears throat> right. Again, let me know if you think.
something else otherwise. Right, so this is a little bit of change in rule number five regarding Alif Mamdouda. Right, today's lesson we will look at some of the Damirs. We did look in the one of the previous lessons, but now today we'll look in more details. Uh, we've looked at the the Damirs, uh, their Arab in Halatul Raf and Halatul Nasb and Halatul Jar. The Arab Damir, the Arab of Damir. We have learned this Damir and we've said there are fourteen Damirs. Wahid, Muthanna and Jama and Ghaib, third person, Muhatab, second person, and Mutakallim is the first person. So in Ghaib we have Mudakkar and Muannas, in Muhatab again we have Mudakkar and Muannas, and Mutakallim we have Mudakkar and Muannas. Ghaib, Wahid, Mudakkar is Hua. Muthanna Huma, Jama Hum, and Muannas here, and Muthanna Huma and Jama Hunna. Muthakkar Anta, Antuma Antum, Muannas Anti, Antuma Antunna, and Mutakallim Ana. And Jama, Muthan and Jama, Nahnu. So these Damirs will be used as in Halatul Rafa. Yeah. Halatul Rafa. So because they are Ism, they are, uh, comes under Ism. Marifa, remember? Marifa. Uh, seven types of Marifa, one of them is. Damir. So these Damirs are used in Muqtada. Muqtada. Huwa, Huma, Hum. Hiya, Huma, Hunna. Anta, Antum, Antum. Anti, Antum, Antunna. Ana, Nahnu. In Jumla Fa'liya, جملة فعلية فعل comes first then فعل comes what is the عرب فعل we've learned the عرب فعل also رفع حالة الرفع so in جملة فعلية after the فعل if دمير comes do we use these حالة الرفع دمير the answer is no. These halat rafa damirs are only used for in muqtada. Right? So what are the damirs that we use in <coughs> halat rafa in jumla fa'liya as a fa'il? As a fa'il. Now, the first two damirs of ghaib, huwa and hiya, yes, we use these two. Hua and here, even in Jumla Fa'liya. Hua and here. We also use Muthanna as well, Huma. Huma as well.
No, we don't. Or we'll come to Muthanjama later when we do fail, so we can understand probably. Just now, uh, Hua and here for uh, Ghaib, Muzakir and Mu'annas. For Muhatab, we're going to be using just this ta. Just the ta over here. The ta. And for Mu'annas, just T. T. And for Musanna, we'll use Tuma. For Muzakkar, Musanna, Tuma. And for Jama, we'll use Tum. And for Mu'annas, again, for YT, Musanna, we'll use Tuma. And Mu'annas, Jama, we'll use Tun. Tun. And for Wahid Mutakallim, this Ana is for Mubtada. And for Fa'il, we'll use Ta with the Dhamma, Tu. Ta with the Dhamma, Tu. And for Jama, we'll just use Noon and Alif, Na. Noon and Alif, Na. So we'll talk more when, when we do be more in fail. So just remember these are the Dhamirs in Halat al-Rafa as Muqtada. But Halat al-Rafa as Fa'il, these are the, some of the Dhamirs we use. Now let's look at these Dhamirs when they go to Halat al-Nasb and Halat al-Jar. So the meals of Halat Nasab and Jar are these. The meals of Halat Nasab and Jar. Again, Ghaib, Muzakkar will be who? Will be who? Muthanna, Huma, and Jama, Hum. For Muannas, Ha, Huma, Hun. Muhata, Muzakkar. Ka halat al nasb and jar ka muthanna kuma and jama kum. So if these damirs comes as, for example, mudaf ilay, and because mudaf ilay is in halat al jar, we'll be using these damirs. Okay. In jumla fa'liya, if damir comes as maf'ul, and we've said maf'ul is always halat or nasb. We'll be using these damirs. For mu'annas, ki, kuma, kunna, and mutakallim, muzakar mu'annas, e sound, we call it ya mutakallim, and na, jama mutakallim, musanna and jama mutakallim. Okay, so these damirs are very important. Uh, those of us we don't know to look and memorize these damirs and get familiar with it. Who, huma, hum, ha, huma, hunna, ka, kuma, kum, ki, kuma, kunna, yi, na. Suppose we want to make him the owner of say a book so we make the book mudaf and we make a damir mudaf ilay. so because mudaf ilay is the halat ul jar we're not going to be using hua because hua is halat ul rafa and comes as muqtada we'll be using hu because it's halat ul jar so kitabuhu Kitabuhu, Qalamuhu, his pen. Baytuhu, his house. What about Muannas? We just have to change the meaning to ha. Kitabuha, Qalamuha, Baytuha. What about if it's Muannas Jama? We just have to add Unna. 
kitabuhunna baytuhunna muhatab muzakkar ka kitabuka kitabu mudaf ka mudaf ilay kitabuka again same thing kitabukuma most of your book kitabukum all of your book and muannas ki kuma kunna ya mutakallim kitabu an yusafu ad-diya mutakallim and if uh, i did not mention this before remember ya mutakallim demands kasra before it so the mudaf is in halat ar-rafa kitabu and if we add ya mutakallim the last letter of kitab ba which is before ya mutakallim demands kasra before it so become kitabi qalami bayti right <coughs> And um, na for jam a mutanna jama kitabuna kitabu mudaf just of that na to make the mudaf ilay kitabuna. Okay, so these the mirrors will come as mudaf ilay halatul jar, or these the mirrors will come in um, as in halatul nasb in jumla faliya. حالة النصب جملة فعلية. There's other reasons uh, why ism goes to nasab case. Whenever the ism goes to nasab case, we'll use these damirs. So let's look at how do we use these damirs in جملة فعلية. I'll give you one example. And we'll move on from there. Let's take one very simple jumla fa'liya. Let's use the word daraba. We all know this verb daraba. This is a fa'l, and it is known as fa'l maadi. Just make it bigger. Yeah, daraba. The fail. Fail needs a file. The fail always needs a dual file. So we just write. And in halat or rafa, file is always halat or rafa. We write Khalid. Halat or rafa, Khalidun. Daraba, Khalidun. The dual. Now, who did he hit? We need a maf'ul, the object, maf'ul. And maf'ul is always in halatul nasb. Daraba khalidun. Zaydan, for example. Halatul, sorry. Zaydan. Halatul nasb. Fathatayn. And with fathatayn, we need to write an alif. Zaydan. Daraba Khalidun Zaydan. If we want to use the mir instead of Zayd, the mir, because Zayd is in Halat al Nasb, so we need to use the Halat al Nasb, the mir, which is this one, third person. So let's copy that, paste it, and if we put who over here, okay, we'll be using, okay, so on this font, we don't get that shape, so just have to copy from here. And just paste it here. Next. Daraba Khalidun. Who? As a maful. As a maful. So this is uh, the damir we use. 
and we're not going to use this Demure. We're not going to use Hua Damir, right? Because Hua Damir is Halatul Rafa. Halatul Rafa. So this, the place now is Halatul Nasb. Because it's going to be Maf'ul. Halatul Nasb. So we use the Damir of Halatul Nasb. Again, I need to copy that. Yeah. So, Daraba Khalidun Hu. But one thing to remember in Fail, Damir comes with the file. The Maf'ul Damir comes with the file. Sorry, with the fail. It will come in the standard order right at the end. So this Damir will come over here. Who? So Darabahu Khalidun. Khalid always remains as a file. Always remains as a file. Because Maf'ul can come before file. Maf'ul can come before fa'il. It is wajib, necessary, wajib, if the maf'ul is damir, has to come before fa'il, straight after fail. Because if it's a daraba khalidun hu at the end, does it make sense? So, the damirs of a nasab case or the damir if he's coming as a maf'ul always always comes with the fail after the fail then comes the file so darabahu khalidun khalid is the doer in english we start with the subject the doer khalid hit him now we can change all these damirs going to make a Muthanna Huma Daraba Huma Khalidun Khalid hit both of them or oh. Hum Daraba Hum what about the second person Daraba Ka Khalidun Darabaka Khalidun. We can use all the Damirs. Daraba Na, for example. Na, Damirab Mutakalim, Jama. Khalid hit us. Darabana Khalidun. Khalid hit us. What about Ya Mutakalim? Khalid hit me. Daraba, you just have to add here. Daraba, ya mutakallim. But remember, we said ya mutakallim demands kasta before it. So, if we leave the ya mutakallim here, ya mutakallim demands kasta before it. If the, is, uh, the word is ism, Sorry, if the word is uh, ism, yes, ism noun, then we put kasra before it. But fail, fail, they don't have kasra. Fail never has a kasra. So we cannot put kasra here. So there's something called noon wakaya. Noon wakaya. A noon comes in between. Anun comes in between fail and the uh, Ya Mutakallim. Now we can add the Noon here. Noon goes okay. I'll take Kasra. So, Darabani. Okay. 
Darabani Khalidun Khalid with me. So we have a little understanding of how to use Dhamir as Maf'ul. Inshallah when we do fail we'll look in more details of this. This is just to introduction, just to remember how to use these uh, Dhamirs and the Arab of Dhamirs we're learning today. So the, the first chart is used for uh, Muqtada and the second chart is used for Halat al-Nasab and Jar. Again, there is another chart, as I said. It is for to use in fail. Those Damirs to use in fails. I think um, what we can do we can add another chart here at the same time just add that as well so it becomes easier for us can I do it like this yes Ad-Dama'ir Halat rafa in fail to be used with fail okay to be used with fail. We can do the same here. Yeah. For uh, for wahid muzakkar ghaib, we use huwa. For muthanna, we just use this damir, alif. Alif is the damir. And for jama, jama, will be the wow okay the wow and for oneness then we have the alif and for jama is the noon we call that Noon and Niswa for Ghaib Jama Mu'annas Ghaib So with a fail this Damir Huwa for Ghaib Mudakkar Ghaib and for Mu'annas Ghaib is always hidden always hidden these two Damirs are always hidden this Damir for Muthanna, we'll see this Damir, uh, Alif, we'll see this Damir, Wow, we'll see this Damir for Mu'annas Muthanna, and we'll see this Damir Noon with the Fatha, with the fire, Fail. For Mukhatab, as I said, just have to use Ta, Ta. And for Muthanna Tuma Jama Tum for Muhatab Muannas Wahid T and for Muthanna the same as Mudakkar Tuma and for Jama Muannas for Wahid Mutakalim, we use the letter Ta again and with the Dhamma two. And for Mutakalim, Mutanna and Jama, we use Na. So the first chart is for Halat al-Rafa for Muqtada and second chart Halat al-Rafa to be used in Jumla Failiya with the fail. Okay, so we look at this 
chart of using in Jumla Fi'liya in more details when we do fill inshallah. But just for now, remember if you can. And the last chart, uh, I think we'll put this in next page so that it is easy to see. And this chart is for Halat al Nasib and Halat al Jar. Alright. Next thing we learn is, which is called the Al Asma al Khamsa, the Arab of five nouns. <coughs> In the previous Years course, uh, we said these nouns are six. We said Al Asma'u Sitta, but this time I'm changing it. We'll call it Al Asma'u Khamsa. The reason is I've changed it. We have in fail Al Asma Al Af'alu Al Khamsa. Al Af'alul Khamsa. In fail, we have five fails. So to go along with that, I put it Al Asma'ul Khamsa. And previously we did have one word. Let me show you that word. And that word is Hanun. I've taken this word out from uh, this group, Hanun, brother-in-law. The reason is this word is not used anymore. Yeah? This word, instead, nowadays it is used very simple. If I can make it a bit bigger. Okay. Nowadays they use it as very simple. Akuzoj. Akuz. Come on. Akhuz Zawji, very simple. Brother in the father of, father of husband, which is brother in law from the, the husband side. Akhuz Zawji. So, the, the word Hanun is not used anymore, very rare. So, I've taken this word out. So we've made it al asmaul khamsa to go along with al afalul khamsa with the fail. So those of you just um, learning this ism the first time, we'll call it al asmaul khamsa. So the arab. These are the special five isms. They're arab. Is a little different when they're mudaf. When they are not mudaf, the Arab is very simple as normal as other isms. What are these? The nouns abun, father, akhun, brother, famun, mouth, hamun, number four, father in law, hamun, father in law, and dhu, owner. Are called Al Asma'ul Khamsa. So what are these? Abun, Akhun, Famun, Hamun, and Zu. Al Asma'ul Khamsa. When they are mudaf to any nouns, their Arab will be in Halat al Rafa with Waw. Halat al-Rafa 
with wow. In Haratul Nasb with Alif and in Haratul Jar with Ya. When they are mudaf. When they are not mudaf, they will be used as normal isms. For example, we want to make Abun the Mubtada. We'll make it Marifa and say Al Abu. Al Abu. We can bring a khabar. Al Abu Karimun. Al Abu Shaqiqun. Yeah. But when these isms are mudaf, this is when their Arab changes in Halatul Rafa with the wow, in Halatul Nasb with Alif, and Halatul Jar with Ya. Abun, Akhun, Famun, Hamun, Zu. See the chart below, so let's look at Al Asma. Uh, uh, I need to change there. I think I did change it. I did come. Al Asma'ul Khamsa. So we have these five isms Abun, when they are Mudaf, Halat al Rafa with the Waw Abu, Halat al Nas with Alif Aba, Halat al Jar with Ya Abi. Next, Akhun with the Waw in Halat al Rafa Akhu, with the Halat al Nas, Alif Akha, in Halat al Jar with Ya Akhi. Now the word of Famun, interestingly, look, the Famun, the meme drops. When it is Mudaf, the meme drops. So in Halat al Rafa with the Waw Fu, Halat al Nas, the Fa. In Halat al Jar, Fi. With the, yeah. The word Zu, Halat al Rafa Zu, with the Waw, and Halat al Nas, the, and Halat al Jar with the, ya, the. Hamun, uh, father in law, Halat al Rafa, Hamu, Nasab with the Alif, Hama, and Halat al Jar with, Kasra Hami. Alright. <clears throat> the word Adhu, meaning owner, it is only Mudaf. It is Mudaf only to a noun, which is what's Mudaf here. And it is not become Mudaf to a Damir. So you cannot say Zu then bring a Damir who? Zu who? What do you mean Zu who? Owner of something has to be owner of a physical thing. It has to be with a noun. So the word of Zu, it is Mudab only to a noun and not to a pronoun. We can say Zu Malin. Zu Malin, owner of the wealth, means wealthy. We cannot say Zuhu or Zuha, not Damir. Right. Now let's look at the, okay, we know the uh, Wahid of these isms. What about the dual and plural of these isms? Again, dual is very simple. Just have to add Alif and Noon in Hadha Rafa, Ya and Noon in Hadha Samanjar. So Abun is Wahid, Abani, which is Musanna, Abani in Halatul Rafa. What about Halatul Nasab and Jar? Abaini. And the Jama of Abaun. And let's look at the rest of the Sims, their Jama. And also the uh, Abun, Musanna in both, in all three cases, Abawani, Abawaini. Yes, Abawani. So this wow, so the, the wow comes back. Abawani, Abawaini, Abaun. Akhun, Akhawani. 
akhawaini ikhwatun an ikhwanun So we say for these two isms, Abul and Akhon, in uh, Muthanna, there is a wow there, not Abani, Abawani. But Akhani is Akhawani. And it has two Jama Ikhwatun and Ikhwanun. Ya Ikhwan. Ya Ikhwan. We hear this word sometime now and then. Right, next, famun, famani, famaini, the plural is afwahun, the meme total drops. Then the jama, afwahun. Next, hamun, again, hamani, hamaini, and jama is ahmaun, ahmaun. And if you think, does uh, it become غير منصرف? We have Alif Mamdud at the end. Again, if we see three letters. One, Ha, two, Mim, three. It's coming after three letters, but it is not oneness. That's why, Ahma'un. Fathers in law. Jama. Fathers in law. Next, Azu Zawani. The again the wall comes back. Zawani Zawaini and Jama Zawuna. Zawuna. Remember Zu as we said, the word Zu only comes as Mudaf. The Zu only comes as mudaf. So what is the rule of mudaf? For muthanna and jama, the noon will drop. So it remains zawa. Always we'll see zawa if there is any other word after it. But the default we're learning with the uh, muthanna and nuntasra. Zawaini in halat nasab al jar because this is some only comes as mudaf, so the noon will drop, will become the way, the way, if we have another word after it. But because we're learning the default, the way in it. Jama the una, the una. So this una sound is for jama. This una is for jama. So what is the rule of mudaf? The noon drops of jama. So it will remain the U if there is a word after it. That word becomes Mudafile. But because we're laying a default, just leave the noon there. Okay, so Zawani will never be used. Just for the sake of it to make it Muthanna. Uh, because the noon will drop, the the, the, sums, uh, the dhu always comes as mudaf. So for mutanna, the noon will drop. So you'll never see the wani. You will never gonna use the waini or the wuna. The noon will drop, right? Another important thing when the noun, when the noun abun, akhon, and famun, only these three. Abun, Akhun, Famun are mudaf to the damir of Wahid Mutakallim. Ya Mutakallim. To the damir of Ya Mutakallim. They will be read as follows in on all three cases. So they will be the same in all three cases. Abun in Halat or Rafa is Abi. Remember we said ya demands kasra before it. So abun is a noun, so it can have a kasra. Hal rafa abi. Halatul nazb, again abi. Halatul jar, abi. Uh, 
اسم خمسة And yes, in some of the books you will see a مكبر at the end. الأسماء الخمسة مكبرة. They use with the ستة. الأسماء ستة مكبرة. I'll take this word out. Well, we don't have all five, do we? So we don't need that. We don't need that. Okay. So these three sons, Abon, Akhon, Famon. Look at the word Famon in Halat or Rafa. Because it's Mudaf, the Mim drops. في حالة النسب again في حالة الجر again في those of you know there is a حرف في comes under حروف الجر في so how would we know it is a حرف الجر or it is my mouth how would we know again from the context you'll know is it a fee to translate in or to translate my mouth? Fee, my mouth. Again, the context will tell us. Okay, so these are the um, three. The, the word... Do is not going to come with the mid anyway, so you don't use. Yeah. What about hamun? Yeah, same. So if we say in my mouth, yes, there'll be two fees. Yeah. But over there, there's a little ch change we see. Yes, if we see, if we say in my mouth, so in will be fee, right? In fee, okay. On the year, I will see a shadda. Fiya. Fi, fiya. Or you can say fi, fiya. So no. Fi, fi. In my mouth. Sometimes we'll see the shadda. Fi, fiya. So those of you watching this video, because there is a question here. So if we say in my mouth, it will be fee, fee. Yeah, so this is what we can use both fee, fee, or fee, fee. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, we have here some words. Can we say fi fami? Fami. It sounds correct. Fi fami. Sounds correct. But I think meme drops, yes. When it is mudaf with 
الضمير فاه Yeah, it sounds correct for me, you know, but I think the meme drops. We'll look into that in more detail. Right, the um, special modaf. There are some certain words, um, this construction, even though an idafa does not necessarily produce the of meaning. So there are some words uh, that are used as mudaf, like zu, zu, um, use only with mudaf. But these words also used um, sometime. You can use them separate by themselves. But if you use them um, as a mudaf and mudaf in a construction, but these will not produce. The associate, the, the possession meaning, of meaning, but these used as mudaf. So they are called special mudaf. The following are commonly used as special mudaf. Most of the words are familiar to us, we know. Fawqa, top, tahta, under, qablu, before, ba'du, after, amama, in front of, khalfa, behind wara again behind bayna between and ma'awid ladun ghayru ayyu qudamu ahead of inda with or by hawla around ba'du sam and kullu every so these are the commonly used special modaf. Again, we see these words a lot in the Quran. So memorize these words. For example, um, if we were to use fawqa, we know one word maktabun desk maktabun you can say fawqal maktabi top of the desk fawqat the table ta'wilatun fawqat ta'wilati or tahta ta'wilati tahta al maktabi tahta al kitabi even فوق الكتاب قبل بعد so we can see um, فوق الشجرة yes فوق الشجرة we can see um, the Arab of these isms the, uh, the, these are isms right the Arab we can see always فوق will remain same okay these will not change تحت always remain قبل بعد أمام خلف these are called مبني اسمز they don't change بين مع غير yeah some of the اسم they do change uh, like قبل sometimes we see قبل قبلي بعد بعدي yeah. but if we are using these as مضاف they are Arab is like this, they will not change. No, sorry. There are some isms, they are mabni, will not change, but there are some isms, they do change. Even they are mudaf. Yes, if we use these as separate, then some of these isms will be mabni. Like qablu, by itself is mabni. Ba'du, amama, by itself is mabni. Uh, so just need to, when we read the Quran, we see 
why these the slight mean ayy it changes shay in although it is coming as mudaf. So some of these sms when they are by themselves they are mabni but some are mu'rab means they change. Okay, so this is the end of today's lesson. So learn these damirs, Hazrat Rafa, both for Mubtada and for Fa'il and Halat al and these al al Khamsa, the five well known or special nouns and these special mudaf. So inshallah we'll see in the next lesson. Subhanahu wa ta'ala bihamdika. Ashhadu wa la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.